Alright, let's have a walk around. So, up front, a few small stone chips. A little bit of light abrasion around the uh, front bumper, as can happen. Small stone chip in the uh, headlight just there. Tires are good. Here, around the back. Gas struts hold okay, no worries there. A little bit of a, uh, a split in the glass here, but it's not leaking at all, never replace it, never needed to. So you've got the tow bar. Have a look around the interior. All the dash, the chairs, the captain chair there. Um, a little bit of light scratching up in the plastic here. Doors, electric windows. Um, got the dual sunroofs. You got uh, all your uh, fans and uh, heating controls in the rear. Looking through. All the seats. All the seats fold down, so you can actually make a bed in the back, check out the photos. Sliding door. Easy as. Okay, now we're going to do a start test, just to check for smoke. And here, let's have a quick look under the hood. Got new battery. Cam belt replaced with 200,000. Got the uh, 1KZ 3 litre turbo engine. Right, here we're going for a test drive of the 95 Grand Via Diesel. Great vans. We've got dual airbags on both sides of the front. Dual sunroofs. One there. Hopefully that's in the video. And the coolest one. Back here in the moonroof. Got the JVC stereo, iPod connection, thanks to Cora for the tunes. So yeah, pretty simple, everything works. Lights on, hot air living, indicators, on. It's all happening. Stops. sophisticated stuff. Now we'll go for the uh, 100k motorway test. 
Once the green light lets me through. Three litre turbo, plenty of grunt. Um, even when towing it with the trailer, you barely notice them. Stable as, hands off the wheel, back up. Also got uh, overdrive option. Click that on and just keeps it in higher revs. Turn that off for fuel economy. You can get over 600 or so Ks out of a tank on these. Easy cruising.